so the first step to getting CLI up and working is giving that user programmatic access. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to create a new user and give them access. We need to go to IAM, add users, add new user, give it a name. I'm going to call it demo user. Click programmatic access. I will also give it console access, custom password that I can set right now. And you don't need to reset that on login for the sake of this demo. This is where you can add permissions. You can um, add it to existing groups, copy from users that already exist, or attach a policy directly. So we'll attach a policy directly. And for the sake of this demo, I will give admin access. Next, tags are a way that you can easily identify Amazon resources based on key value pairs. I'm not going to bother for the sake of this demo. And then we get to review. So demo user, programmatic access and console access, console password custom, which I set. Don't need to reset it on login and the permissions are administrator access. We create the user. And the key is here, you need to download the CSV. So this CSV contains an access key and secret key that allow you programmatic access. So if we just download that, keep it safe for later. If you don't download it now, you do not get a chance to get this exact set of credentials again. You must go into the user and give them a new set of credentials and then download that file. So just remember to download this file now to keep it simple. So now we have a user and we have credentials. We need to install the CLI tools themselves. If we go over to the CLI homepage, and because we're on Mac, we go to the Mac section. It says it requires Python 2.6.5 or higher and install using pip. Now this is pretty much standard on Mac these days. So if we just take this command and we open up a terminal window by going to search terminal, we paste that command in and we run it. Our CLI tools will be automatically installed and that's some successfully done. Now the next step is to configure our access. So if we type AWS, which is the command prompt configure, we'll be asked a few questions. So we need to provide an access key. That credentials file, the .csv, contains the information we need. So if we go over to it and we take the access key and we paste it in, um, then we're asked for the secret access key. So if we take a copy of that and we paste that in. Our region is US S1 for me. Um, fill in whatever one you have specified. And we want it in JSON format. And then if we just perform a quick check and we go AWS, um, I am help, it will tell us the command prompt for help in IAM. And once you're done, if you go down to the bottom and you hit Shift Q, you're back out. I'm going to delete my uh, IAM user now for security reasons, um, but feel free to keep yours. Thanks.